Are you struggling to make the law of attraction work? Well, law of attraction simply states that thoughts become things, which means that if you think about an idea or a thought for a long period of time, eventually its equivalent will manifest itself into your reality. And despite all the advocates of law of attraction who sway by the fact that the law of attraction works, there is an equivalent number of people that say that the law of attraction hasn't worked for them. The fact is that the law of attraction does work, but there is a missing element that practically nobody talks about. And that missing element, I describe it as your predominant emotional disposition. And what does that mean? Well, what it simply means is that if you have an idea and you have a desire for something, you need to associate that idea and link that idea or that thought to a corresponding feeling. The feeling has to relate to that idea. So let's talk about a person who desires a lot of success and success requires confidence. But let's just say that the that, that predominant emotional disposition is a state of despondency, discouragement or despair. Well, then the problem with that is that they're not emotionally in alignment with the thought that they're producing. There is almost a disconnection between the thought and the feeling. So if the average person, let's just say, sleeps eight hours a day and they were up 16 hours a day and they did some positive thinking and they did some meditation and once in a while they feel good about themselves and they feel confident about themselves, but majority of the time they, they remain in an emotional disposition of fear or discouragement or despair or despondency or uh, doubt or worry, then what's eventually going to happen is that they're going to uh, attract and create circumstances and situations that are going to produce more of the same feeling. So it wouldn't matter what they desire consciously and what they're thinking about consciously. It wouldn't matter what they, 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 uh, they wish for. Uh, what eventually they're going to materialize over and over again in their life is what is consistent with their predominant emotional disposition. Now, this is a concept that most people don't really understand and they struggle to uh, align their feelings with the, the outcome that they're wanting to create. So if somebody is wanting financial abundance, but they continually act like a person who is in scarcity and they just keep feeling like there's not enough money out there or that the wealthy people are greedy people or them becoming wealthy is going to make them arrogant or you know, wealthy people exploit others. If they have those types of feelings lingering beneath the surface, it wouldn't matter what they desire financially. What is always going to happen is that their feelings are going to trump their desire and they're going to continually find themselves in situations that correspond with that particular feeling. So your predominant emotional disposition is the most powerful thing that you're going to need to manage if you want to achieve your, your goals and your ideas and you want your thoughts to come true.